Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Sunday, March 13th, 2016, around 8.28 in the evening in Bellica, Massachusetts. Sun went down. It was a perfect summer spring day it's actually still winter it was 60 degrees out tomorrow it's going to be a different story with a lot of day maybe some rain showers in the afternoon and highs only in the mid 40s could be some freezing wet rain and sleet and snow west of worcester but it's all good because we could be still dealing with a lot of snow this time of year some news to report. The UMass Lowell Riverhawks will face off against Providence in the semifinals at, uh, at the Hockey East Tournament at the TG TD Garden Friday night on Nesson. And the NCAA March Madness has begun. The field of 68 teams for the men's basketball tournament was announced. It was on CBS. It was two hours. And the top seeds are North Carolina and Virginia and Oregon. And the number one seed overall is Kansas. And four New England teams are going to be in the NCAA men's basketball tournament. Holy Cross, they are going to have to play a playing game against Southern. That's Wednesday on True TV. UConn's going to face off against Colorado Thursday. And Providence will face off against USC, University of Southern California. And Yale will face off against Baylor. Catch all the games in its entirety on CBS, TBS, True TV and TNT, Greg Gumbo, Ernie Johnson, and Mike Matt Weiner will be hosting the first two rounds of the NCAA tournament on those four stations. So every game, it's in, in its entirety. Tomorrow, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to make the predictions on my brackets. And that's about it on news. My third and final video blog subject in the night is my personality profile. Tonight's personality profile is about NFL Commissioner Roger Goldell. Roger Goldell has been the NFL Commissioner since September 1st, 2006. It's coming up on its 10-year 10, 10 anniversary as Commissioner of the NFL. And the NFL has experienced continued growth during his his tenure as commissioner, but he's had a lot of controversy, which I'll tell you later on in this video blog. Roger was born in Jamestown, New York, and he grew up in Bronxville, New York. His father was a U.S. Senator from New York, Charles, and Roger was a great athlete in high school. He was a football player, basketball player and baseball player in high school. When he was a senior, he, in senior in high school, he was captain of, of all of the three sports he played, baseball, basketball, and football, and he was named high school athlete of the year in his senior year. That's amazing. Then he went to Washington and Jefferson College, and he graduated with a degree, uh, a degree in economics. And he started to work for the NFL as an intern in 1982. He worked for, for Pete Rozelle, the former commissioner of the NFL. And then in 1983, Roger worked for the New York Jets um, as, a, as an intern for one year. He went back to the league's office in 1984 and he moved up the ranks. He became an assistant to to Lamar Hunt, who was one of the famous legendary owners of the NFL. He was an assistant to him for a few years. 
then he had other job titles in the NFL. He he worked for like marketing and promotion. Then he moved his way up, and he got more and more knowledge of the league, like negotiated television contracts and collective bargaining agreements with the Players Association. And in 2001, he became NFL Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer, a very high position. And when Paul Tyler Bull, the, the, the NFL Commissioner, he announced his retirement in 2006, the NFL looked around for its next commissioner, and they selected Roger Goldell. And Roger Goldell took over commissionership on September 1st, 2006. And since he's been commissioner, the NFL has continued to grow as the most popular sport. More and more people watch the NFL than ever before. Roger Goldell also has, like, like wants to play football in Europe more, put a, eventually put an NFL team there. He wants to have an 18-game season. And the Players Association don't, doesn't want that, but he'll eventually push it in. And he's had many controversies during his tenure as commissioner. He has like a Players Conduct Code, and since he became commissioner in 2006. Many, many players have been suspended for conduct roles, including um, Michael Vick, Ray Rice, Adrian Peterson, and so many others because of, like, involvement of domestic disputes, beating up their kids, involved in dog fighting, etc., etc. Roger Goldstein wants an image, a good image of the NFL, and he suspends any players if they are involved in any domestic disputes or something that's detrimental to the league. Also, there was another controversy in 2007 that was called Spygate, which the New England Patriots were illegal, was spying on the New York Jets, and they got caught, and they had to lose draft picks. Also, another scandal was Bounty Gate that took place in the late 2000s, early 2010 with the New Orleans Saints and eventually he came down hard on them. Sean Payton, the coach of the New Orleans Saints, was suspended for the 2012 season. And also another thing, he had a deal with commission, Commissioner with like player safety with all of the stuff about brain injuries and concussions. He's made a lot of the NFL trying to be safe and stuff like better protection of helmets. And one of those biggest controversies was the deflate gate thing that happened with the New England Patriots in 2015. The Patriots were, were like Accused of deflating footballs. He even suspended Tom Brady for four games. But Tom Brady got that overruled. But they're still in court for that. And Goldell's been continuing to you know, fight criticism for the NFL. But he, but he put an NFL... NFL team back in Los Angeles. Uh, um, St. Louis Rams moved back to L LA. The NFL is going to be playing more um, games overseas. Regular season, maybe Mexico City. Also, they're talking about Toronto and maybe the Far East. And the NFL is continuing to grow with Roger Godell at, at the helm. But a lot of people criticize him because he's just... He's, he's not doing the league any good. This talk that he was going to be um, not his contract not renewed for when it expires, but I doubt that will happen. And Roger Godell makes a lot of money. He made, he's been paid over $43 million a year. That's a lot of money for a commission of the biggest sports league in, in the world. And that's about it on Roger Goldell. 
And that's about it on these video blogs, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Tomorrow, you're going to get three more video blogs. First video blog will be about the continuation of the top 10 greatest, um, no, top 50 greatest professional wrestling heels of all time. I'm going to be from 30 to 21. Second video blog will be the personality profile. I'm switching it around just for tomorrow. It will be about Bill Parcells. And the third and final video blog of the night will be about my picks for the 2016 NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. And out region by region by region. And I'll be back tomorrow. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Brennan guy. Molly Roseblood of WCCO Rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hutt, so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Swenzi is the best. And Bobby Gibbs of ABC 11 has that sweet southern accent. And she's also got nice legs as well. And, 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 and Julie Gower of Fox 25. Awesome. And in the words of me and Gene Oakland, WWE Hall of Famer, Attention Hotline fans, what major WWE wrestlers coming to WCW? Things we cannot talk about on the air. But if you, if you call me up tonight at 1-900-909-9900, I will tell you the latest scoops, all the latest wrestling and friendly news, stuff we cannot talk about on the air. Uh, 3.49 per minute. And parents, get your... Get your and kids, get your parents' permission. Call on the hotline. Good night, everybody.